Hi everyone, welcome to this demo on Dialytics Financial Insight on the cloud. I am already logged into BI Cloud Service and I'm on the home page. And I click on the dashboards link, select to go to the financial demo, to go through Dialytics Financial Insight demo. Now, on this dashboard, we have several tabs starting with overview, cost center view, and so on. And I'm looking at the top five cost centers with increase or decrease in budget and increase or decrease in year-to-date expense. We have these indicators that tell us whether we have an increase in budget, which is green, or a decrease in budget, which is red. Similarly, the other indicator is about whether we have had an increase in year-to-date expense, which is red, or a decrease in year-to-date expense, which is green. Now, looking at cost center 350, both the indicators are red, which means it had a decrease in budget while the actual expenditure has increased from a year-to-date perspective. So I'm going to use the navigation link that is available on this indicator to look at cost center view, which is the second tab, or the group account view, which is the third tab at a more detailed level, and account view, which is at the most detailed level. I would select to go to cost center view, which is the next level, and that takes us to the next tab, and you will notice that the cost center 350 is automatically passed to filter this tab for cost center 350. And we are looking at the budget of close to 11 million for cost center 350, out of which 2.4 million are already in commitment encumbrance. 2.1 million are in obligation encumbrance, and there are other encumbrances of 1.4 million. Actual expenditure representing 3.7 million, which leaves available funds a little over 1 million, or 10% of the budget is available. Now, in this view, if we did not have these encumbrance figures, it would be giving us a misleading picture that we have only spent 3.7 million out of close to 11 million budget, which means more than 7 million is still available funds, which is incorrect because there are encumbrances that would become actual expenditure pretty soon, making the available funds about a million. So while that's good, we also have the ability to use the navigation link on the commitment and encumbrance to go to requisitions that make up that commitment and encumbrance or go to the next level, which is group account view. Similarly, from the obligation amount, we can go to the POs, which is the last tab on this dashboard, to look at the POs that make up this obligation encumbrance, or go to group account view. Similarly, on the actual expenditure, we can go to the journal view, which is one of the tabs, or payables view, which make up the payables transactions for this actual expenditure, which is one of the tabs or the group account view, which is the next level of drill down. So I'm clicking on group account view, which takes us to the next tab, group account view. And here we are looking at the different group accounts within the cost center 350. Uh, and for each group account, we are looking at the budget, the encumbrances, the expenditure, available dollar amount and percent funds available. From here again, we have the ability to use the navigation link to look at the requisitions that make up the commitment and encumbrance or go to the account view. Similarly, for from the obligation, we can go to PO view to look at the POs or go to account view. And from the expenditure, we can go to the general view that make up those expenditure or AP transactions that make up the expenditure or go to the next level of drill down, which is account view. And I'm choosing account view to go to the next tab and here, it shows us for each of the group accounts within cost center 350, what are the accounts? And again, at account level, the budget amount and the encumbrances and expenditure and the remaining funds available. From this view also, we can use the navigation link to go to the requisitions that make up the commitment and encumbrance or the PO view that make up the POs uh, for the obligation encumbrance. And the expenditure allows us to go to either journal view that make up that expenditure or the payables view uh, that make up the expenditure amount. Let's go to the 
journal view, which is the next tab on this demo dashboard. And this shows us all the journal postings that make up that expenditure amount we were looking at. We are able to see for each journal posting, what is the journal category, what is the journal source, what is the transaction amount, and so on. Now I can pull this journal source and use that to, since the source is purchasing, this drill down allows us to go to requisitions and POs. Uh, so let's go to requisitions and see all the requisitions that make up that transaction amount. So it takes us to the requisition view where we are able to see requisition number, line number, and all the details about requisition. Now I use the link to go back to the general view. And I also choose the other link, PO view, to look at all the POs that make up the transaction amount in this general view. And it takes us to the PO view, and we are looking at PO numbers, line numbers, and all of the details about peers. Now, to able to see journal postings that come from tables, I'm going to pull this to the top and make journal source as a prompt. And I'm going to select tables as the journal source. So that brings us to the tables journal posting. And from here, I can drill down to the tables transactions that make up that journal posting. So what we see here is that from the GL journal posting, we are able to drill down into the subledger transactions that make up that journal posting, which is very helpful in period and bookkeeping. With this, we come to the end of the financial, Dialytics Financial Insight demo. Thank you.